Welcome Fishbowlers to Fishbowl's Tip of the Week. This week we'll be taking a look at the dashboard. Let's take a look. The first thing we'll take a look at on the dashboard is the columns. We click on the columns button and enter in the new number of columns that we want to see. And Fishbowl will either increase or decrease according to that number that we enter. Next we'll click on show palette and then we'll drag our widget onto the dashboard. Next, what we're going to do is we'll set the gadget height. To do that, we'll click on gadget options and we'll enter in manually enter in the height. Then we'll click OK and that will reset our height for us. This will be very important for reports that are added onto the dashboard. Next, what we'll do is we'll make sure to save our layout and then to be done with the palette, we'll click on the done button in the bottom right hand corner. As you notice, as we see here, everything is showing as issued underneath our so open sales orders. If we want to change that, we'll go to the sales order module. We'll click on the advanced search and here we can set it to look for fulfilled sales orders. These are tied together. Next we'll click on the save button in the bottom left hand corner and then we can cancel out of the search. Next we'll go back and take a look at our dashboard and as you notice it will now show our fulfilled items. Lastly, we'll go to Tools and Module Options on the dashboard, and here we can set the auto refresh time. This will refresh our dashboard every 60 seconds. And that's the Fishbowl Tip of the Week. Fishbowl.